Hi students, now let's look at question number 7 of page number 204. From a point on the ground, the angles of elevation of the bottom and top of a transmission tower fixed at the top of a 20 meter high building are 45 degree and 60 degree respectively. Find the height of the tower. Question number 7. The question is given from a point on the ground. So first let's take a point on the ground. From a point on the ground, the angles of elevation of bottom and top of a transmission tower. Where is the transmission tower? The transmission tower is fixed at the top of a 20 meter high building, isn't it? So first we have to draw a 20 meter high building on the top of which the height of the building is 20 meters is given. On the top of which a transmission tower is fixed, isn't it? So from a point on the ground, the angles of elevation of bottom and top of a transmission tower. Angles of elevation of bottom and top of a, here this is the top of the transmission tower. Okay, the angles of elevation of bottom and top of a transmission tower are, given this bottom, the angle of elevation of uh, bottom of the transmission tower is given 45 degree and top it is given 60 degree respectively. Okay, and the question is what? Find the height of the transmission tower. Okay, from a point on the ground, the angles of elevation of bottom and top of a transmission tower fixed at the top of a 20 meter high building are 45 degree and 60 degree respectively. Find the height of the tower. That is the question. Okay, so first let's take, let this be the building, let AB be the building and C be the point of observation and B, D be the tower, transmission tower. Now to solve this, please students keep in your mind, whenever we get two triangles in a question, most of the questions will have two triangles. So we need to find out common side of these two triangles. So we know the two triangles, which are the two triangles here? Triangle A, B, C and triangle ABC, isn't it? Triangle ABC and triangle ADC. So both the two, uh, two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle ADC, which is a common side. The common side is AC, isn't it? AC is common for triangle ABC and triangle ADC. Both the triangles are on the same base AC, isn't it? Here AC on AC, it is ABC and ADC. Both the triangles are on the same base AC. So we will take AC as X, okay? Considering AC as a common side as X and we have to find, we have to form two equations, equation 1 and equation 2. And equating equation 1 and 2, it will be easy for us to find the value of X. Hope it is clear. Okay, so those questions, wherever there is two triangles, the first step is, to try to find the common side and take it as x or any variable and we have to make we have to find two equations using x okay so when we solve we'll be able to understand more so first we'll take any of these triangles first we'll take triangle abc in triangle abc in triangle abc the angle is 45 degrees isn't it so tan 45 equal to in triangle ABC, tan 45 equal to what? Tan 45 is opposite by adjacent, isn't it? That is AB by adjacent, it is AC. The value of tan 45, that is 1, equal to AB, that is what? 20 by AC, AC it is X. Okay, so now we will take X to the side, so that is what? Therefore, X equal to 20. Therefore, X equal to now we got one equation using x. So similarly one more equation we have to make x equal to 20. Similarly x equal to something. Two equations we need to find out first. So for that we will consider the second triangle. In triangle, in triangle ADC, in triangle ADC, tan 60, tan 60 equal to opposite that is AD by adjacent that is AC. Isn't it? Value of tan 60 that is what? Root 3 equal to AD that is what? 
H plus 20, isn't it? It is H plus 20 by AC, that is X. Isn't it? Now, here also we will make an equation using X. Okay, for that we will take X to this side and root 3 we can take to the other side. So therefore, X equal to H plus 20 by root 3. So this is equation 2. Now using X we found two equations. X equal to 20 and X equal to H plus 20 by root 3. Okay, so finally therefore from equation 1 and equation 2. If you look at both the equations, we can see that both LHS, it is what? X, isn't it? So we can equate the RHS of both the equations. Okay, students, here the LHS, it is X. Here also it is X. So we can equate the RHS of equation 1 and 2. So from here we can write 20 equal to H plus 20 by root 3. We can take root 3 to the side. So that is equal to what 20 root 3 equal to h plus 20. Therefore, finally, h, h equal to what 20 root 3 minus 20. We can take 20 outside. Therefore, h equal to 20 here it is common. Here also 20 is there, isn't it? Therefore, h equal to 20 into root 3 minus 1 meter. Hope it is clear. So this is the height of the transmission tower. Hope it is clear students. Take it to the notebook.